Hi, I'm Joe Danini. I'm an attorney from Manhattan Beach, California, practicing for over 14 years in various transactions and litigation. I also teach part-time as a law professor, and through my career, got some of my original training in the White House, working in the Office of Speech Writing. I've also been involved in various business ventures, which has gotten some notoriety and press in Entrepreneur Magazine and Success Magazine. And I've also self-published a book with a partner entitled Real Estate Agents Reference Manual, those are just some of the ventures that have been involved with the law and on the business side. Speaking of law being big business, kind of like being in a hospital with all kinds of machines hooked up to you and not knowing what's for what and what plug goes to what end, you have an attorney who can help you and guide you through that process just to make sure you don't pull the wrong plug at the wrong time and end up with a flat line. Imagine you work for a glass manufacturer that produces products worldwide. And on one normal afternoon, you're at the assembly line, you're doing your job, doing what you're supposed to do. But then all of a sudden, things change. There's an explosion, windows shatter, fire erupts, a pool of blood with victims lying there who are your coworkers, severely injured. Well, that's exactly what happened on one fateful October afternoon in a factory in the northeast corner of California. A JD-70 generator that was supposed to have been supposedly brand new and service checks were all completed as required, malfunctioned. And with that malfunction, we had three unfortunate victims. We had George Ann, a, mother, a single mother of two, who just completed her college degree, had her whole life ahead of her, and was a three-year veteran of the company. Well, now she's got second-degree burns over all of her body, and she's got broken bones and unknown injuries that yet have to be determined. And then on top of it, we have Peter, a 46-year-old male, 15 years with the company, just got promoted because everyone thought he was such a great guy and did the job according to company goals and objectives. Avid cyclist, he was winning races, all kinds of accolades and trophies, but now he's got spinal cord injuries. And he also has contusions, lacerations, and broken bones throughout most of his body. Mackenzie, 23-year-old, sweet, adorable, lovable girl that everyone liked, going through nursing school with the goals to help people. Well, now Mackenzie has brain and head trauma, and Mackenzie doesn't know what's going to happen. Her life remains a big question mark. Well, you know what? We're going to take a look at these three individuals and their plight. We're going to look, can, Mac can George Ann ever hold her baby again and rock them to sleep? like she did every night? Will Peter ever be able to cycle again? Or forget cycling, will Peter ever be able to walk like you and I that we take for granted? And Mackenzie, she had the dreams of helping people, but now is she gonna have to have people help her for the rest of her life? When something bad happens in America, somebody's gotta pay. And tonight, we're gonna take a look at the whole entire American legal process. We're going to go from start to finish and we're going to see exactly step by step what it equates to in dollars and cents because somebody's got to pay. We're going to look and see if there's liability on the manufacturer of the JD-70. We're going to take a look and see if there's liability on the part of the company and we're going to see if any negligent behavior existed and what the employees did in their workspace. Well, in order to determine that, we're going to go and answer those questions and a lot more. But right now, we're going to take a look at the process because it's not simple, it's not easy, but it's totally necessary because when something bad happens in America, somebody's got to pay.